My shoes were scuffed. My good church shoes were scuffed. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. Saturday morning I am dressed and ready to go came to see me I'm dressed and ready to go have brunch with my sister and my cousins this is the outfit it's just a green it doesn't look green in here but it's green tan pants with tan purse with green shoes this isn't coming off green on the camera for some reason but it's green it actually matches the shoes very well so yeah this is how the hair is looking I have to kind of get it freshed up from my mom again. Uh, this is our first time trying this ponytail thing, so needs to get fixed a little bit. Yeah, I'm ready to go eat.
620. Hold on. It's 620. My class reunion starts at 7. I literally just got back from down below. I should not have had two and a half mimosas with my French toast. Um, I'm kind of tired, a little headachy. I'm about to drink some coffee, freshen up, and go ahead and get ready for this party that I'm not excited for anymore. back home from the reunion I had fun I had fun I'm glad I went um, it's a little glare hold on but I'm a little disappointed just because it wasn't a lot of people I thought a lot of people because my class got this started um, over a year ago at 71 basically that was on Facebook which is most of my class uh, it doesn't matter what race that we were all on Facebook, connected to our, our high school on Facebook. So I thought just a lot more people would come and it was very not a lot of people. But with the girls that was there, we turned up on the dance floor. I had fun. I do not regret going. So class of 02, I wish I would have came out, but it's okay. Maybe next time. I am about to take all this off and prepare for Sunday. I have, my son has a hair appointment. I have another video, one more video to record for October and church in the morning and homework. Yep. Yeah. But I'm going back. <laughs>
upgrade their phones. It's not even up, well, yeah, I'm upgrading their phones only because their pre their current phones are shattered to pieces. Period. So I can either swap them in, but we're all about due for upgrades. So I'm just seeing what my options are for that. And then I am going home to do homework for the rest of the evening. Clean up my house a little bit. Sunday. Set some things, iron some clothes, laundry, laundry. I might even do laundry. I haven't done laundry. So, yeah. So this is our morning so far. Come join me. watch me and girls do you know the reference it's October 3rd um, um I haven't had a lot to say today I, I just actually had a very quiet day work wasn't too bad for Monday it's actually pretty good I woke up and had time to read and eat a little breakfast and worked out I did that I'm seeing in my workout gear again and um, today was just well accomplished. I did everything I wanted to do. I wanted to wake up, I wanted to pray, I wanted to work out, I wanted to read, I wanted to have a nice breakfast, and I got to do that. So, and then the day wasn't too bad. Like I said, for a Monday at work, it was cool. My spirits were cool. I'm cooking dinner now. I just went to Target, you saw what I got. Um, I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but it's way on the other side of town, and I just, it's too far to go. So, the ponytail is holding up. Um, I like this color, but my mom's like, oh, it's a big difference, but I don't care because I like this brown color. Can you see it? Anywho, I'm going to go finish 
some dinner. Oh, and I knocked out my homework. Can't help me knock that out. I'm gonna go finish my dinner. Um, I'm gonna do tonight, honestly, is get back in that book. Once I start reading, like, I can't wait to get back to it. I'm so mad and take it with me to work because I could have read it on my lunch break. I'm reading New Moon, which is part two of the Twilight series. If you actually read the books, you know that is nothing compared to the movies. Hollywood literally took New Moon and the rest of it and made it so Hollywood, it gives the book no justice. So if you want to actually know the story, read the book. But um, yeah, I'm going to go eat some dinner and then read my book. And um, it's good for Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I need to do October's video. I will do that tomorrow. I will do that tomorrow. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I woke up with some swelling around my eyes. So I'm just taking my freeze roller. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And rolling it on the areas that's puffy. I actually got bit by a spider at work at my desk. There's baby spiders hatching. So that's a spider bite. And I don't know what's going on under my eye. So annoying. Okay, so I decided that um, my eye is still swollen, if you can see that. It's ridiculous. I decided that I'm going to do just uh, not really a get ready with me, but I'm going to put on some makeup um, because I'm going to do a October favorites video separate from this video, content video. Um, but what I can do is just show you the easy peasy makeup that I do do that I do do so um, and instead of just doing it and playing music over it I wanted to do kind of like a storytelling time <laughs> there was one story that I wanted to uh, <coughs> share <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Okay, so while I'm talking I'll just go through the story and you can just enjoy or not <laughs> Um, first thing I'm going to do is clean my face from the day. I did just get home from work. I'm not tired. Today was pretty okay, pretty smooth. Got a lot of work done. Um, I'm just taking off the oils, the dirt, whatever. I didn't put on any makeup this morning. I'm using a Bolero Rose Water and Aloe makeup remover, facial white, whatever you want to call it. This area is just itchy, it's so bad. Anywho, just to kind of give myself a fresh face. <laughs> okay, and then, like I said, very simple. I'm not doing the full foundation. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just making a pretty face. 
So I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows, just gonna comb them up, comb them out, make them even. La 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 la. They're already plucked, so I don't need to do much. And just to be precise with it, I'm going to get my little pot here and my little, whatever you want, my little brush. Look at that eye. It's itchy all right here, all right there. It's so annoying. Okay. So while I'm carving out my eyebrows, I can um, start my story. Um... When I was in fifth grade, something happened to me at school that I would never forget because it was the day that I decided I am not ever going to run for anything unless my life depended on it. And what I mean by that is just like running in public because this was an embarrassing running event. So what happened was um, it was about to be recess. and. It was literally about two minutes before, two to three minutes for recess time. Um, I asked my teacher, and my teacher loved me because, you know, I'm that good student. Uh, I was like, can I go to the restroom before there's a crowd? Because the girls' bathroom is always a line, period. There's always a line. I was like, can I go to the bathroom? And she was like, go, go ahead and take up attendance, take up the attendance for the day, and then uh, go ahead and go to the bathroom and stay out for recess. I was like, cool. So I ran up to the attendance, took that in. No, I didn't run, but... Went up to the tennis, took that in, and then went to the bathroom. Basically, when I was done with the bathroom and walked out the little ramp, I'm heading out to the yard because I know the bell is literally about to ring. The bell is literally about to ring, and everybody's about to come out. So, <clears throat> the way our school was set up, the yard is, like, over here. There's uh, the bus driveway, which is no buses because we're in school. It's only in before school and after school. And then over here was the the halls to the bungalows to the classroom so i'm coming from over here and then by the time i get to the driveway um the bell rings and as i'm walking across this area i know that there's other kids out too i don't know because everyone's knows it's about to be recess there's some other kids probably got let out early so as i'm crossing the driveway over here in a play area more towards my left um, I saw two black kids squabbing, just, and I saw it. <clears throat> once I saw it, the bell rang, so my mouth dropped once, ah! it was, it was like, whatever. What excited me was I saw it first, and I'm like, I'm gonna see this fight. I, once, it's like some people knew too, because once the bell rang, people were running, running to the recess area. And when I looked around, I was like, oh, people going to beat me there. So shit, I was like, I took off running towards the fight. I was wearing a dress with stockings and church shoes. <laughs> so not thinking about what the freak I was wearing trying to run to this fight, I slipped and bit it and rolled in front of anybody else that was running up. This is like two or three classes letting out one set of bungalows running past me while i'm rolling on the floor i got up quickly and now walked back to the bathroom i started crying because i tore holes in my stockings i ripped them off i was ashy i didn't have no lotion i said fuck this day i was like i would never run to a fight again and i haven't <laughs> uh, yeah I, I remember that so vividly because i remember one just older kid he kind of like hopped over my legs and he's like ah and ran to like he still got his front row seat at the fight and i was just like you know what i didn't even know these boys why do i care about this goddamn fight i wanted to see a fight that was the thing you run to the fight you go see the fight you want to see that so to this day well i started running to lose weight so that i will run for but i mean to book it if it ain't to save my life, you know, get away from zombies or some shit, um, I'm not running. I'll jog and work out, but I'm not running for nothing. But oh, let's go by nope. nope. So that's one story of mine. <laughs> I mean, I bit it. My dress was dirty. My shoes were scuffed. My good church shoes were scuffed. Mm. Yeah, I was mad that day. I was like, fuck. And then ever since then, like high school, 
there was a fight that broke out like right in the middle of the quad i was actually right in front so all i literally had to do was like turn to my right and there was a fight i was appreciative of that i was like thank you i felt like i got that old to me because i wasn't gonna run to one i still kind of got pushed because everybody started coming around and there's a big tree stump behind me and they kind of i was i had to like hold up i'm just sitting here on my break y'all ain't gonna move me to see this fight it didn't even last long anyway oh that's a lot of darkness right there you see that oh too much too much okay they're not even we know this we know this wakanda forever okay Anyway, so that's one of my horrific stories. Well, that went by kind of quick. I've only done my eyebrows. Anyway, oh, my baby, my baby, my baby. Um, I don't want to do much, so I'm just going to take the concealer. It's a little bit brighter. There we go. And do the inside of my eye. The outside of my eye. I don't know why I'm making sound effects. Just whatever. Like I said, I'm not trying to do the most. I'm just trying to clean up to look decent for another video. And it's fun. You guys know it's fun. It's fun to play makeup. It's fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Enough of that. Mm, we just want something simple. Something simple. Simple, simple. I had another story to tell you, but I don't remember which one it was. Mm, another embarrassing story. Hmm. Oh my gosh. See, and then shit like that happens. Shit like that. Well, yeah, like I said, I had another story, but I really can't even think of what story it was, and I'm pretty much done it was really just cleaning up my eyebrows putting on a little color on my lips um i don't like that it needs to connect that's not connecting jeez whitakers Always, always, always mess it up. Oh, my gosh, Becky. What? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and match. Since I want to be triastic. Jeez. This is horrific. Thanks. <laughs> uh huh. Mm mm. You know what I have to do because like I guess I ain't trying to be perfect. That looks so bad. Why? Why is it? It's gonna have to do because like I said, I'm not into perfection. Look at this nonsense. Look at look at whatever. I'm ready.
morning, good afternoon. Sorry, it's 12 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this week's vlog on this Wednesday. Because Thursday is when I really edit everything and get the videos out for Friday. But I just wanted to touch bases. This morning I did have a meditation moment. What I've been doing every morning is turning on Grace for Purpose and literally just meditating while they're saying a prayer. It's a game changer. This is nothing new. When you pray and you ask God just for some kind of peace, he works throughout the day. There's, every day this week, there's been little significant things happening that I realize that's, that's God. That's my God working right there. And the peace that I asked for last week when I first meditated, because remember I said like September, I just felt like there was a cloud over me. I couldn't get inner happiness or whatever you want to call it. God, I'm happy i'm calm it's it's surreal and it's a blessing so with that i wanted to encourage those who might have the same little gray cloud hanging over going through something day after day it seems like the enemy is just attacking you realize who is attacking you realize the enemy just like a game of chess know his moves and then play your part and call on your savior you don't know who your savior is even if you don't understand it all the way it's jesus Take a chance to realize that there is a man out there that died for you and he's up there just waiting for you to acknowledge that he exists and that you do love him for what he's done for you. If you have a grudge with someone, if you're mad at someone, just forgive them because when you hold that grudge over someone, they have a piece of your spirit, they have a piece of your soul and it's darkened. And as long as you're looking at them sideways and demanding justification for whatever instead of just forgiving it, because when you forgive it, it literally falls off of your spirit. And your spirit has room to grow. You actually become, like they say, the mature one. So forgive those who trespass against you. Forgive those who sins against you. If you continuously fall into temptation, ask for forgiveness. When you know you've done wrong, ask for forgiveness. Ask for guidance. These things can come. It doesn't come on our time, obviously, because God runs on God time, but it does come. I am a true testimony. I have major stormy downfall moments in my life, and then I have perfect sunny springtime days in my life. All around, God has known, has been around, and has proven himself over and over in my life. So I just want to continue to encourage everyone and those who are new to it, just talk to your God. So I want to encourage all those for the rest of the week. Have a wonderful week. Stay prayerful. If you don't know how to pray, just simply talk. Just talk to your God. God, I need help. I cannot do this. I am sad. I, whatever the reason, just talk to your God. So on that note, smooches.